What's going on guys? We're going to talk about uh, water today. And uh, you know, water is one of the four main main things you need in a survival situation. Uh, you need water, food, shelter, and protection. So uh, uh, this is a, a method of extracting water from a, from a well uh, if you, you know, can't afford a, a solar powered pump or you know, grid goes down. Um, now if you have a, a submersible pump or a long tube, you're going to have to remove that before you can do this. So uh, if, if you don't have solar power, then that's a, a step that I didn't have to go through as my well doesn't have a pump uh, as yet. So this was a, a backup option that I, that I opted for. It's called a Baylor bucket. And uh, it's a four inch piece of PVC pipe, a cap on it with a hole drilled in the bottom. Now on the hole in the bottom, is a foot valve off of a submersible pump. Now this is important. You go purchase this at say tractor supplier, so you know Home Depot, something of that nature. Uh, I think it was about 20 bucks for, for one like this. There's cheaper ones than this, but I wanted mine to last. Inside here there'll be a spring that returns a little little plunger. You're gonna have to take that out for this to work. Um, but you know you just saw me take it apart so it ain't that hard just pop it apart take the spring out and you're good to go now to make my baler bucket serviceable I drilled a hole in the base of my uh, of my cap and I, uh, and I glued in a threaded coupler that would accept this foot valve so I can take this off and work on it if I need to. But it's that easy. You drill a hole in the uh, in the four inch cap, put the the coupler in there, secure it in place, screw your foot valve to it. Glue it to the PVC. The only other work you need to do is a way to retrieve it, obviously. So I just I'd drill a hole straight through here, run threaded rod through, got nuts and washers. I've got two nuts on the inside here to keep the, uh, the pull string centered. You don't want it kicking off to one side or the other. So took care of that. And uh, this is that simple. Uh, 30, 40 bucks and you know, a little bit of time and now I can uh, draw water out so let's go see how it works here we go guys here's our uh, our well as you can see there's no uh, no pump or submersible pump in there so uh, well we can get water this way There you go folks, uh, we got water that way. Uh, if you're wondering why I didn't use a, a hand crank that's on there, it's because that cover is decorative. Uh, but, uh, you know, you get the idea, cheap and easy uh, water extraction. Thanks for watching.